conductor to them. There were previous workers, but they, it was not called pollination dynamics. So pollination dynamics is his main uh, area. And he was born in Northern Ireland and went to Canada to study. And he finally got his PhD degree from uh, University of Wisconsin, Madison uh, in 1976. Uh, 76, right? Mm -hmm. and this December 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. Yeah. 75. Yeah. It so happens it that <laughs> he was uh, in Madison uh, uh, from early uh, 70 to 75. And I was in Madison as a postdoc from 1970 to 74. So we had about two, three years of overlap, but I, I never saw him. We didn't uh, frequent the same <laughs> bars. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't frequent uh, the same, same bars. bars. Yeah. Anyway, it's a coincidence. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a happy coincidence. And uh, so uh, uh, he has, has established the Center for Complex Systems and Brain Sciences at the Florida Trinity University. 1998, 85. Or 1985, and he's been directing that, and he still has grant uh, to support his research, and uh, <laughs> uh, he has uh, is well known uh, around the world. So it is a really great pleasure and honor to have him on our campus. Thank you very much indeed for your kind introduction. Thank you very much, Dean uh, Papakama, mm -hmm. for your uh, generosity in bringing me here at pretty short notice. Mm -hmm. um, thank you all for coming. I know it's exam time and all that stuff. Uh, this business of coordination dynamics, the name, it just occurred to me. I, I was once a, a fellow at the Neurosciences uh, Research Institute La Jolla, California, and it was run by a very famous uh, biologist called Gerald Edelman. And Gary Edelman uh, said to me once, scientists would rather use another scientist's toothbrush than their language. <laughs> so uh, coordination dynamics might be amalgamation of a whole bunch of things, but it seems to pull some things uh, together very nicely. as I would like to, I would like to uh, change the world, we all would, and I think we should aspire to that, but uh, the caveat is that maybe what we learn about the brain and the brain's coordination, which I think is important, maybe uh, that could tell us a little bit about human behavior and the tendencies we all have, and maybe that might inform people whose business it is to uh, encourage peace and tolerance and other uh, values that we would like to have in, us, in, our, in our world. 